We have quite an audience tonight. Done. We never sleep, and business never stops. Let's see what I'm spending money on today. I'll, I'll give you anything. Anything? It's too late for that. tonight we made a lot of money what are your clients seeking next today we are buying we you that's right we are the client we have a request it's unusual. I have found a provider for all requests so far. I will fulfill this as well. However unusual. We're requesting you. That is unusual. It's a delicate match. Of course. Whatever is required. <laughs> well, we're counting on that. What's the deal? Not going with any socks today? Not today. Uh-uh. Why is that exactly? These were just cleaned. Well, they weren't comfortable. They were too wrinkly. I have no idea what that means. Well, they, they were too mushy and wrinkly in my shoe, and I didn't really like them. All right, well, next time don't leave them laying around, okay, buddy? Okay. <laughs> oh, right in the eye. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, that's enough. Are you ready for school? You know that important thing you're supposed to do? Yeah, I'm good. Okay, good. Man, your feet are gonna stink later. Uncle 
Jean's here. Oh, look at that. He's on time for a change. What are you doing today? Oh, a little of this, a little of that. I have a full day planned. Are you going to work? Nope, still on leave. Hey there, big bear. <laughs> Don't call me that. I am the catfish. Always squirming and worming, just out of reach of the big bear. Catfish is kind of a stupid nickname, though. It is stupid, but your great-great-grandfather, Ezekiel, always said I kept him on his toes, just like a catfish. I thought catfishing was when a guy pretended to be a girl on a dating website. Well, it can be that, too. Okay, it's uh, time for you guys to go. <laughs> hey, who's the catfish now? Mom, she's always nipping at my tail. Wow. <laughs> All right, get in the truck. I'll be right there. I left her running. Feel free to take her around the block for a spin. I just might. Any news? Well, the FBI is here. When are they going to put you back on duty? Soon, but uh, not on the case. Doesn't seem right. Michael was your husband. Well, emotions twist the truth. But the FBI? You must think this is serial. Is it related to all those kids? Yeah. Hey. Hey, I'm sorry. It's okay. <laughs> How's Raina doing? She's at home working. Sends her love. Man, she works more than you do. Noodled myself a good one, didn't I? Yeah. How's he doing with all this? Better than his mom. Hey, you let me know if you need anything. Is that for me? Oh yeah, I almost forgot. I combined a few varietals. You'll like this one. I don't know. It smells a little fishy. No, that's what makes it perfect for you. You know, if you ever quit being a cop, you can open up a coffee shop. You'd be the best damn barista this shitty town ever had. All right, go get going. I don't want him to be late for school. We're on our way. Pain must be immense. Well, well, I can't have you running away. This will hurt. Oh, I can't move. I can't move. What's that? I can't move. Oh, you, you can't move. Well, it's a paralytic. You may not be able to move, but you can feel. Mary, I'm going to remove the ball gag. We're gonna have a talk. Please do not scream, I don't wanna hear it. And don't ask why any of this is happening. Nod if you understand. Are you ready? <laughs> do you like movies, Mary? Yeah. I suppose. Let me guess. Romantic comedies, love stories, 
fairy tales. <laughs> I like those. And superhero movies. <laughs> Fantasies. Do you like thrillers? Horror movies? <laughs> no. Interesting. Me neither. But, you know, I can't help myself. <laughs> Sometimes I just watch them anyway. You know what I can't stand? No. What? The heroes can always walk away. They can always grab a gun. Huh. Shoot the bad guy. And escape. But. Boom. Without an Achilles tendon. Thumbs. It's a different story. Not my idea. But ingenious. What now? Giving you an opportunity, Mary. <gasps> there is a revolver with one bullet. There's some clippers. Then there's the door. So you let me go? Oh. That's up to you, Mary. The drugs have worn off a bit. You should be able to move. I don't believe you. <laughs> that doesn't matter one way or the other. Huh. Well. Whoa! Same rules apply. Huh. Oh, you're a crazy bitch! What a crude thing to say. Don't make me cut out your tongue. There's still so much to discuss. No, don't! Don't, 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 don't! No, don't, don't, don't! don't, 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 don't. Give her some motivation, James. Yes, you can. You can do it. Hurts. Don't, don't think about the pain. Tell her how much you love her. Mary, look at me. Look at me, Mary. You can do it. You can do it, sweetie. I love you. I love you. Love you too, so. That's better. <laughs> oh, I can't. Don't think about the pain. Yes, you can. Don't think about it. You can do it. That's it, sweetie. <laughs> Go! Do it! Do it. Oh, oh, Mary! 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 Mary, listen to me. Do you love me? I do. I love you so much. You know, it almost makes me want to open the door up for you. Do it, sweetie. Get up. That's it. <laughs> oh, this is going to take a lot of stamina and energy. What's more important, the door? <laughs> a gun? <laughs> Free your husband? The gun! Get the gun! Get the gun! Shoot her! That's what I would do. <laughs> Go, sweetie. That's it. Go on, sweetie. You can do it. <laughs> sweetie, you can do it. That's it. That's it. Can you see it? Let's put it. Put it in. Does it help if you believe no. James will die? No. Put the bullet in the gun. Do it. You got it, sweetie. That's it. <sighs> That's it. Oh, good girl. That's it, sweetie. Let's go. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Right, point it. Let's go shoot her. That's it. That's a tight trigger. <laughs> Hit or miss, 
and I'll put the knives down. But if you can't fire that gun, I'll slit his throat. Oof. I don't want to hit you. You won't. You won't. But what if I do? Do it anyway. <laughs> oh, I'm so Are you sorry. Lost? For now. I'm so sorry. Hey, sweetie. It's okay. You tried. You tried. You tried. You tried. <laughs> See if you can get the door open. <laughs> you open this door, I won't stop you. Fuck you! Use that anger to free yourself. <laughs> That's it. There you go, there you go. That's one. Two to go. Keep going, sweetie. Give her something to fight for, James. Children, children sweetie. Think of the children. Uh, quicker than I expected. Go on your own. Uh, uh, oh. 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 Tell me about Rebecca. Or Jacob. <laughs> Or would you like me to tell you about them? Don't listen to her, sweetie. Focus on me. On me. You could do it. Do it! Why? Why are you doing no, this to no. us? Now, what did I say about asking why? No, 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 please. Knuckle dragon douche roof the shit coat. Um, it's not security, it's a goddamn welcome mat. I had a wonderful day, dumpling. Is dinner ready? Oh, honey, if you ask me another stupid question like that again, I'm going to stick a dick in your ear and fuck some sense into you. <laughs> so that's a no on dinner then? I made some crackers and I think there's some cheese in the refrigerator. Cheese, crackers, beer, and I'm living like a king. Mm -hmm. You want something? Uh, I'll just have whatever you're having, but I'm, I'm not kidding. I think that's all we got. Easy! Like Hollywood Boulevard hooker on Valentine's Day, baby. I am busy! <sighs> Any luck with the credit union? I mean, they put up a nice facade, but I was in, like, after three hours of just bouncing around. That's funny. They assured me their system was foolproof. You're a sweetheart. Yeah. I try. I think you missed your calling. What do you mean? You should have been a poet with that honey-soaked tongue of yours. Mm -hmm. If you're trying to sweet-talk me into a blowjob, the only way that that's gonna happen is if you bowls yourself in two like a soft taco and suck at your shell. Tempting. Mm -hmm. How'd it go with the law firm? Loose and saggy like Grandpa scrotum. I hope you're not speaking from experience. 
You know what? Between the two of them, I could have easily skimmed at least a million dollars without anyone knowing. That wouldn't be very ethical. That is us, Mr. and Mrs. Ethics. Make any headway on our other project? Yeah. Well? Look, you wanna talk ethics? If we do this, we're going into the abyss. I don't think we have a choice, darling. How are we feeling, Deputy Porter? Come on, Dale. We've known each other too long for formalities now. Sorry, Emma. Of course I have, but... Good to see you. Things get a little more formal in situations like this. It's a circumstance that could compromise a department. Fucking killing me to be on the sidelines. We're gonna get this guy, Emma. So where's your partner? I heard he was in town with you. He's in playing catch up with Taylor. Do you have any information for me? A coroner's report? Are you sure you want to hear this? It's pretty brutal. Absolutely, I need to hear it. Both thumbs and Achilles were severed, but they were also cleaned and dressed. <clears throat> <clears throat> He had a large contusion to the back of the head, most likely from a baseball bat or some other blunt force object. He was caught off guard then. Makes sense. He crawled, limped, and clawed his way for a few miles. Uh, it's too late. People know where I was going. Someone had to see you chasing me. I'm a cop. You can't fucking kill a cop. He took four rounds from a 22 to the chest. We don't have to do this now. No, well, let's get it over with. So what did the evidence say? Not much yet. A lot of trash and debris in the area. It's near a homeless camp, so a lot of foot traffic. He was on a lead. The treehouse murders? Yeah. Anything new? He was going back to re-examine where Sarah Sanders was found. What do you think he was looking for? He said the... He said the disposal felt rushed, that uh, whoever was responsible was relying on the familiarity of the area. He may have been right. Hope is important. Well, that there's nothing. What do we have to hope for? It's gonna be okay, Mary. 
It's okay. It's okay. Calm down. Mm. Let's not sell lies to one another. Nothing is going to be all right. <laughs> Don't you kids go anywhere. <laughs> I can hear you back there. What do you need? There's a man here to see you. An investigator of some sort. Police? I don't think so. Not someone I've seen before. Maybe FBI? Did he ask for me my name? No. He asked to see the mortician. Send him in. Mr. Hilliard, the mortician will see you now. Thank you. Hello, my name is Jonas Hilliard. I'm a private detective. Is there something I can help you with, Mr. Hilliard? Mary and James Smith seem to be missing. Missing? Shouldn't someone call the police for a welfare check? They've been missing is the wrong word. What'd you say your name was? I haven't given you my name. That's right. Of course, I apologize. If they're not missing, then what are they? Out of reach, maybe? Or out of town? Do you recall seeing them recently? In here? Dead, you mean? No. But I can call the sheriff's department if you like. The family asked me to look around a little bit first. If you see anything or hear from them, I just want to know that they're safe. We're dead. Of course. Thank you for your time. Can I see some ID, Mr. Hilliard? Excuse me? Identification. Your driver's license, private investigator's license. You need to legally have one of those in the state. Did I do or say something to offend you? Not yet. But you are snooping around. I'm not snooping. You come to my place of business, asking questions about two missing people, but you don't want to call the sheriff's department. That is peculiar. I'm just doing my job. So you keep saying, do you have a PI license? Of course I do. Yet you haven't shown it to me. And you haven't told me your name. No, I haven't. But it is on the front door of the mortuary. Yes, I recall now Miss Jensen. Look up, mister. Hilliard, that camera is getting a nice, clear picture of your face. I'm not trying to stir up trouble. See, here it is on the license PI. Okay, here you go. Now your driver's license. What? What? Come here asking questions about two missing people, yet police department don't know they're missing. If I suddenly disappear, I'll let them to come looking for you. These accusations are a little ridiculous. I'm just trying to get offended. Mm. These are precautions, not accusations. Does that make you feel safe now? 
But actually, yeah, it really does. Strange man. Indeed. I think I'm done here for now. Can you put her away from me? In the drawer? Like this? Unless you want to finish embalming the corpse. No, of course not. It's just that... Just, I... Just, just what? Piper, spit it out. Janie Thomas? She was scheduled for cremation. Shit. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Just distracted, that's all. You go home. I'll clean up my mess and turn on the ovens. You want some help? No, that's right. Okay. I'll call you if any more dead bodies turn up. You two should feel very loved. Someone came into the mortuary today looking for you. Said you've been missing. Who was that? Oh, nosy little man. It's amazing how technology has brought people together. No, stop, no, no, stop, please don't, no, no, no. We're going to bed. I'll put the ball gag in. Okay, 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 okay. What do you want to talk about? How did the two of you meet? Online? Well, there's a conversation starter. Tell me. Um, <laughs> it wasn't like a dating app, it was, a message board. One thread leads to another. You meet, you get married. Perfect life. Right. Then we end up in your basement, tortured, dismembered, murdered. I love happy endings. Pauline, you're a mortician, right? You're gonna kill us, take our bodies to the morgue? Is that right? I wouldn't be in any rush to get to the morgue. In the end, there will be nothing left of your existence. Why are you doing this? There's my question again, Mary. This time, there will be consequences. Ooh. James, are you familiar with the deep web? Yes. yes. Bank accounts and for private information, the search engines don't index it. It can be quite insidious. Go a few layers deeper, it becomes perverse and criminal. More than just cybercrime and identity theft. 
It's a place where flesh can be bought, mm -hmm. sold, and destroyed. What does that mean for us? There's an audience for every kind of depravity. And there's money to be made. <laughs> These are for you, but these are not mine. Oh, no, 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 Better to make this a private conversation. Lots of cops like to eat back here. Small rooms, private. And, thank you. These walls don't talk. I appreciate you coming, Miss Jensen. Pauline, please. I enjoy doing new business over lunch on a game of cards. Eating and competition is how I measure a man or a woman. Please. I don't play poker. Of course you don't. There are many games when you're already playing. So today, we'll keep it simple. Draw a card. Look at that. You win. Occasionally, when it's close to dinner time, I'll go to one of my busiest card rooms and I walk in there, turn on all the lights, and I yell, Listen up, you motherfuckers. Tonight, we're gonna eat like kings. And everyone contributes. Or, someone dies. That's nice. Bates a real sense of community. It does. Well, my question for you is, what do you have to contribute when a pot comes around? I suppose whatever you require. Well, I guess we have to figure out what's all. Sooner or later, we all pay what's all. 
How's your soup? It's very good. Did you expect anything different? No, of course not. So I understand you need a favor. Two favors, actually. A delivery of sorts. And discretion is critical. But I'm always discreet. But if I deliver these two favors, what do I get in return? Name your stakes. Okay. Next hand wins. If you win, two favors for two favors. And we're done. And if I lose? And the favors keep coming. Those are high stakes. This is a risky game you're playing. What kind of favors would you require? It'll be handing on a mortician. Good. I need to understand that I can trust you. I need to know that no matter how much pain you might be in when you leave out of here today, that it'll be between us. It's your turn. I'm I'm a dexterous. Of course you are. That's good. <laughs> Just one more thing. Don't scrape. This is good work, Raina. Who are we? Our username is Gallego. And the routing? Nothing off a thousand places, fully masked, totally untraceable. We are in their world now. I uh, heard there was a PI in town. Word travels fast, I suppose. Whose parents do you represent? Parents? You're investigating. I assumed it had to do with the treehouse murders. That's another matter altogether. Then why are you here? I'm here looking for James and Mary Smith. Well, what are you doing at my house? You're a deputy, aren't you? Yeah, I'm off duty. I'm on a leave of absence. Mm. I shouldn't have intruded. Did something happen to them? Uncertain. The families are worried. Leave of absence, you say? Bereavement, actually. 
That's right. Sorry to hear about your husband. It's an awful loss. Yeah. Well, if you give me their address, I could uh, pay them a unofficial visit, check on their well-being. That would be appreciated. Your husband, he was a fellow deputy. Was his murder related to the children? They both had similar wounds. How do you know that? I'm exceptional what I do, Miss Porter. Just want to make sure James and Mary didn't befall the same fate. It's not public information. I'm simply doing my due diligence and exhausting all my possibilities. I understand. I would. I am doing the same. Call me if you have any info on this, miss. I can show myself out. unusual request. I would expect nothing less from you. Do you have limitations? Boundaries? Only one. Children. Anything else to everyone else is fair game. Glad to hear it. I have a laundry list. Dirty laundry just happens to be my special day. There has been a special request to see your balls drop off, so I'm doing a time lapse recording of it. There's something seriously wrong with you. I don't deny that. I'm pretty sure your worst moments would make all this seem pretty innocent. <sighs> What do you mean? Tell me about your children. Mm -hmm. I don't understand. Tell me about Jacob. Don't tell her anything. Oh. Nothing. Mary, each time you don't answer a question, I will snip something from James. No. <laughs> Let her do it. She's going to torture us anyway. You ever notice how medical instruments are basically just carpenter's tools? Same thing, really, only. Sterile in appearance. Now, tell me about Jacob. Don't tell her shit! Don't tell her shit! One more word from you, and I'll take out that eye. <laughs> so, Mary, you were saying? Uh, a playground. Uh, sunny day, beautiful outside. And Jacob's playing on the slide. So full of innocence and joy. So, I remember it like a snapshot. It's good. Close your eyes. Think of that moment. Hold on to it. Never forget it. Good. Let me hear another one. This time about Jessica. Oh. 
Don't tell her anything! <laughs> tell me about Jessica. <laughs> Clumsy and awkward. She's learning how to ride a bicycle with training wheels on it. <laughs> and she rides around the corner out of sight and falls into the neighbor's yard. And <laughs> she's scared and crying. She's going, Mommy, Mommy. Oh, I remember her smile when I come around the corner. Oh. That's good. Let me hear one more. Tell me about Rebecca. <laughs> Uh, Becca, she dances, does cartwheels, does so many good things, it's so hard to pick just one. Hang on to those moments. Good nice company. <laughs> Sorry for interrupting your breakfast, boys. And by the way, thank you for getting up here so quick. Sounded important, Captain. It is. I'd like you to meet a friend of mine. What he does is second to none. A programmer, hacker. He's kind of a, a deputy show. What's his deputy's name? Short Ice. Isn't that what they call pedophiles in prison? It's just a moniker that he uses so he can infiltrate a certain group. Is this going to be a waste of our time? No. Oh, no. This is not going to be a waste of your time. They have teams of people that do this type of research, Captain. Okay, then. Let's go meet Deputy Short Ice. Welcome to the back of beyond. Come in, come in. I'd like to introduce oh, agents Maxson and Anders. Yes, yes, I know your work. You know our work. How is that exactly? It's out there, floating in the ether. I know how to find it, catch it, sort it, and read it. Tell these officers what you told me. Well, I've been dotting my T's and crossing my I's, cross-checking and counter-referencing. And now we're here. It's all so unfortunate. Listen, enough with the theatrics. Are you gonna help us find this child killer or not? What are your, what are your FB experts telling you? Our guy is a uh, methodical and organized individual. He selects his victims with great deliberation. Except for Deputy Porter, he was in the way. He lives within a 10 mile radius of where we found Porter's body. The other victims, the children, they were deliberately placed draw us away. The crime is serial in nature. This guy's been doing this a long time. This is not a serial killer by nature. This is being done for profit. And it's not just one person, it is many. What do they want? An audience. Welcome to the Amber Road. Let's go. A successful mission, it seems. He put up quite the fight. I expect him to be a screamer. Don't scream for me right away. Because when you finally do, that's when I know it's for you. Good. Our audience will like that. I want to see him bleed. Listen, 
I have money. Crypto? Yes. It's all crypto. My phone. He has my phone. Give him his phone. I don't like the look of this one. I'd like to see him suffer. How much? All of it. From every account. Okay. What guarantee do I have? Interesting. This seems to be a difficult choice for you. You can't take that with you if you're dead. What's your crypto wallet? I'll take it from here. That is a lot of money. That's everything. For my life. For a life. What does that mean? I don't take money that I haven't earned. And that's what I do. I earn money by killing very, very bad people. Now, finish it. What the hell is this? What did we just watch? 21st century entertainment at its finest. You're telling me that people pay to watch people murdered, tortured, and fucking raped? And much, much more. And how the fuck did you find it? I was a ghost on the wall, a shadow in the machine. We walked through one of the patrons, one of the users. A paying customer. You hacked some guy's computer, and we watched what he saw. It does take us in a different direction. A way bigger direction. How do we narrow our search? We stay in the shadows and we wait. He on your payroll? No. He's on ours now. It seems fate has stepped in. Gallego bypassed us and initiated that stream. This is not a fate, my friends. This is free will. What's this fuckhead doing? Looks like a has gone rogue. He's using the network and diverting the money. A lot of money. My money! It's over one million dollars in transactions. Where is it all going? Crypto wallet's untraceable, that's the point. Well, then we kick him off the network, delete the thread. We can't. Our users have a trust that their expectation will be fulfilled. We can do anything we want. We're the gods of this world. Not only are crypto wallets untraceable, they are non-refundable. We cannot simply cancel transactions. Chris. They lose money, we lose trust. We lose trust and our trade routes go bankrupt. Should we send in one of our more menacing friends? Not yet. Give me one more day to find Gallego. Let's see if we can wrangle Gallego back in first. Have we lied? Special guests only. Turn it off. Did either of them have the chance to escape? She did. And? 
Mary didn't make it very far. Mm -hmm. There are some interesting opportunities in this industry. We've recently entered the business of um, wish fulfillment. And once you walk through that door, there is no coming back. What kind of requests have we gotten for these two? Castration is popular. Ooh. So I've already started the process. Ooh. You got this? I've got it from here. You go home. Don't worry. I'll keep him squirming. Gallego is still broadcasting, but nowhere to be found. The longer he broadcasts, the more we bleed. Have you made any contact with him? No. I fear it may be an interloper. We need to consider an alternative plan of action at this point. Yeah, but he's streaming. Users are placing orders. Then we can't shut it down. We may have to subscribe. Goddamn, what is the buy-in? Can you spare a Bitcoin? I don't think we have a choice. Get us in. I hate wasting money. Done. You are a subscriber this time. Looks like the show is about to start. Better be good. We're paying for it this time. Good to see you, Bobby. You too. I'm sorry about delaying our meeting. I just wasn't ready. Nobody's ever prepared for something like this. There's no apology necessary. Thank you for understanding. Did Michael ever talk with you about his life insurance policy? Um, no, I just kind of assumed we had the same coverage through the department. Yes, but a couple of years ago, Michael augmented his policy. Should something... this happen? What exactly are we talking about? Michael wanted to make sure that if something like this happened, that you and Danny would be financially secure for the rest of your lives. That work would be merely optional. That's my Mikey. How much are we talking about, Bobby? Five million dollars, Emma. <laughs> Look. I know there's nothing I can say or do that's gonna lighten the hardship of losing Michael, but perhaps there'll be some small degree of comfort in knowing that he planned for the two of you in this way. I'll take comfort where I can get it these days. Thank you, Bobby. Of course. There are a few things you'll need to sign whenever you're ready. I'm ready. Okay. Like our final guest is a no-show. This isn't for everyone. You are all aware of the rules and the consequences of violating them. This is your last chance to walk away. I will give you a five-second countdown, and beyond that, you are permanently tied to what happens next. Ready? Thank you for your attendance and participation. 
Hello, and welcome. And there they are. Here they are. The fuck is going on? This is just for you. Thank you. I appreciate that. <gasps> Would you like to hear them scream? Cut off her toes. Yeah. No! 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 Don't let him close his eyes. He needs to watch. I really need you to watch this. <laughs> Separate your fingers. Cut it off? You know that. There's one digits. The end scan between each one. The interdigital fold. Make it hurt. I want her hands completely useless. <gasps> <gasps> No! 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 This is oddly satisfying. What next? We have given this great consideration. There are so many ways I want to see them suffer. Please, no, stop. Please, we'll do anything. Just stop, please. We'll do anything you want. Will you give us money? Yes, 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 everything we have. We'll give you everything. You'll do whatever we ask of you. Yes, I said anything, I'll do anything, anything. Please! Can you resurrect the dead? What? No. Of course. No, of course not. I guess you can't do anything. I want to see her tongue split like the devil she is. This is really, really gonna hurt. The more you fight, the worse this will be. Your tongue, Mary. Just start snipping away then. Piece of her ear, her nose, her lip. Snip. Snip. <laughs> some things to discuss. Hey, Danny. Uh, can you go upstairs for a bit? I need to talk to Dale alone. You're gonna talk about that, aren't you? I should get to hear this. 
We are, but we need to speak privately. You and I can talk later, okay? Okay, but you have to tell me everything. No secrets. I promise. Pinky swear. He's a good kid, Emma. He is. Well, that curiosity reminds me of Mikey. Worries me a little bit. You know, not to get off topic, but this coffee's fantastic. What is it? Los Planas Bacamera. It's from El Salvador. Very exclusive. And very expensive, I would imagine. Yeah, it is. But I can afford expensive coffee now, thanks to Mikey. His insurance policy. Mm -hmm. So you know about it? Of course I know. It's a lot of money. Yeah, it is. Am I under... No, not at all. Okay, but I was. You know how this works. Insurance money is motive. We have to look into everything. I'm sorry. It's okay. I appreciate you doing your job. This isn't a social visit, is it? We have a lead. A lead? What's the lead? Have you ever heard of the dark web? I, yeah, I've heard of it. Did Mike ever mention the Amber Road? No, what's that? Have you ever heard the name Gallego? Gallego. Is that who we should be looking for? Gallego's a pseudonym. It's a username of a person or group of people that are operating on the Amber Road. Okay, you're going to have to explain that to me. Look, I'm going to tell you this is a friend. The Ember Road is a highly profitable online black market. You can buy and sell anything. Our investigation in the Treehouse murders has led us to this user, Gallego. And Emma, when I say buy and sell anything, I mean anything. I'm so sorry. So sorry I couldn't protect you, sweetheart. <gasps> Oh, I, I want you to I'd say it's safe to consider those your final words to one another. Oh. You'll never get away with this. I'm pretty sure we are. Oh, I go live in a minute. Your experiences here on the Amber Road have been very popular. As the liquid from the IV makes its way into your system, you should start feeling a warmth. Oh. Formalin is a highly concentrated embalming. Oh, I can feel it getting warm inside. You're being ripped apart at the molecular level. Who are these people? Why are you doing this to us? Why? Are you really going to ask those questions and pretend you don't know the answers? I have nothing to repent for. I enjoyed every minute. And that is why you suffer now. <laughs> ah, ah, ah. Ah. Oh, oh. Oh. I'm sure the two of you are wondering. How did this happen? How did everything unravel? I was on the hiking trail. I saw you kill Michael Porter. The two of you were chasing behind him and you were armed so I hid. His family deserves revenge. You are the devil incarnate. The both of you. You took our Jacob, our beautiful boy. You took him. You tortured him. You killed him. You deserve this. My leg is never singing and dancing again. But this is bringing me satisfaction. Watching you suffer. And it's gonna bring me great joy to watch you die. Over and over again. So die! 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 Yes! You have 
have caused so much suffering. Today, you come to an end. What you're feeling now is acidosis. Your red blood cells are rupturing. We'll do it. Sulfuric acid. The formalin is already tearing you apart, but the acid will burn you from the inside out. The final few seconds will be increasing until you finally melt, burst, shut down, and melt. I'm sorry we didn't get to watch your balls fall off, but there just wasn't enough time. this helped. We just watched a live stream snuff film. Yeah. Really? That's what we just watched? Yeah. Paying to watch people get murdered. So you continue to watch. And we wait. And that's your plan. Someone will make a mistake. And you're the ether. The ghost on the wall. The shadow in the machine. That's right. Gentlemen. Welcome, friend. We are friends, aren't we? Is that a rhetorical question? Don't we already know the answer to that one? Well, we know you're not who you claim to be. You are playing a very dangerous game. Who oh, knew no, you caught me? Call the police, turn me in. I've been dishonest. I don't think you understand the consequences of your actions. I don't think you understand that it's not important who I am. Fine. We'll play this game. But know this. We will find you. Mmm, sounds exciting. Now, enlighten us, please. Tell us what's important. What is not important is who I am. What is important is I know who you are. We know who you are. We? You are not alone, gentlemen. <clears throat> Don't worry, hon. You're next. It's set. Now let's start fishing. How's the coffee? Exquisite. Nothing like I ever tasted. It's very exotic. It's not the coffee that's digested in little monkey's stomachs and then extracted from a species now, is it? <laughs> no, not that exotic. It's called Black Blood of the Earth. It's, uh, it's got a little more caffeine than most brews. Well, in that case, I'll just have one cup then. Yeah, I understand. So, you must have said you had news about James and Mary Smith. Yeah. Uh -huh. I do. 
We finally got around to that welfare check. Well, you found something. Are they okay? They're gone. Gone? Without a trace. And it seems that they left quite some time ago. What did you say hired you again? The family. Do you know what happened? They seem to have maintained an online presence, though. So who exactly in the family hired you? They wish to remain anonymous. Online presence, what do you mean? Was it their kids? Oh, wait, that's right. They don't have any kids. Have you had any contact with James or Mary within the past few weeks? No, no, not at all. You wouldn't lie to me, would you? An officer of the law? No. What are you suggesting? How about Erebus? Have you had any contact with him? Erebus? How do you know? The Amber Road. We know all about you. We? Did you poison me? It's a sedative. You'll be sleeping soon. But the caffeine. We've been monitoring your online activity, Mr. Hillier. That's impossible. We have a full record of your viewing habits. It seems you're quite the fan. It's more than just profiteering. You watched James and Mary die last night. And we found you through them. And you're next. We're going to make them squirm one by one. So strong that the fine ones grow. 